All right, so we're back for part three. Um, this part should be a little shorter. Uh, we're going to talk about something that I call the backstroke gallop and then flams real quick. Um, this backstroke gallop thing is purely a stunt thing. I haven't really found a way to use it effectively or legitimately yet. It's just something that kind of fell into my lap, as it were. Um, so you can check it out, but really all it is is just for fun. So I started with, uh, while I was working on my normal back up down sticking roughs, so I was playing that and I was, I must have been trying to apply it to polkas or something because I was tight, because again, just like, as I mentioned before with the normal, uh, with the upstroke gallops, uh, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down for a long period of time is very tiring. So I was looking for ways to get around that. So so I was playing that and I said, well, okay, what if I apply my rough sticking to that? So I played down, back up, down, back up, down. And I went, okay, that that's what that is. And so notice here that this is this is the most important aspect of this is that the eighth note bass for the pattern is no longer down, up, down, up, but it's down, back, down, back, down, back, down, back, kind of a weird, you got to kind of work on it for a while. You got to think of it very circularly. Stroke. And actually, I purposefully play it higher up on the drum so that I get that high pitch. And as you might have already figured out looking at the second bar, if you scoot up an inch, then you can play a rim click with the top at the 12 o'clock position. So there's that. Then if you start playing for a while and you stay very relaxed, you will notice that your hand will kind of fill in that second 16th note. And so I've notated that as a down because that's kind of the technique you're in when it happens. And, and I've put it in parentheses to indicate it, that it's a ghost note. If you guys are astute, you will notice that this down, down, back, up, down sticking is the same as Amon's five stroke roll. This is in a, an entirely different context because there all five notes are intentional and uh, in, and have intensity. And here the second note is a ghost note. And again, be, this is because I'm focusing on down and back, not down and up. So uh, so I'll play a couple of the gallops and then I'll, I'll continue to relax. You'll hear that second note start to fall in. second grace note fall in there and then again you scoot up an inch and you can put the rim click in there so that's just something that kind of fell into my lap and that I just mess around with for fun so let's talk about flams for a second um, and I have a note on the sheet that these are tipper only flams a lot of people have talked about flams in the past and normally in the context of playing one note on the skin and then using your backhand to play some other aspect of the flam, so. So you can hear there that I'm using the back of the hand to get that second note. Um, for those of you guys who aren't familiar with flams, a flam is a single note ornament, which means that there's a primary note and a note that comes slightly before it that's softer. And so with that idea, there's two ways you could do it. You could do the tipper note first and the hand second, which will give you a closed sound. Or you can do the hand note first and the tipper note second, which will give you a more open sound.
I don't tend to use those that often. If I'm going to do a flam, I do what I call tipper only flams, and you've got two little exercises there in slip jig time that show you how to do this. Again, just like the roughs, I consider these to be single motion concepts. So even though there's a sticking change, you got to think of it as one entity. And so the first one that I have is a down back. So you start it the same way you would start a triplet, you just don't finish the motion. So the primary note is actually the backstroke and the down is the is what we call the grace note or the or the or the ornament. So it's down back, down back, down back. And you want to try to get these as tight as you can. Um, the syllable that we use a lot in rudimental drumming is is chut. So if you say chut, make it sound like chut. It's not gadut, gadut, gadut. It's chut, much, much, much tighter, much closer together. So that it's a single unit, not a discernible rhythm, not da 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 but chut. And so here's that bar 9-8 with that in. And I actually got that pattern. I'm not sure if that's the sticking that was used, but that pattern is actually from one of the old Kiel Tori Kualan albums. One of the tunes has that pattern in it with the flame on the downbeat in 9-8 time. Again, I'm not sure if that's the sticking he's using. He could be doing a, uh, uh, a tipper and a hand flam. But I chose to work on it as a tipper only flam. The second pattern that I use ever is, is a, a flam where the grace note is with the back and then the primary note is with an up. And this one I can't play quite as tight, it always sounds a little bit looser. Um, so I will use it to play against that other pattern so that you have like a closed option and an open option. And again you're trying to get it to be a single motion and so it's back up. And so I'll use this kind of as a pickup, uh, as a pickup beat. So I'll use the same basic 9-8 pattern there. And so that's how I'd use that. The, uh, the third option that you could try, but that I never ever use is down up. And because your hand has to switch directions, I can never get that tight enough to make it feel like a single motion. To me, that's too open and it sounds like a rhythm, so I never use it as a flam. You could use it as an actual written out rhythm for sure, where you need like a... in that context or something, but I would never play it as a flam. Sorry, a couple of flips there. So that's a just, just a little quick little thing about flams, how I use them, and then that silly backstroke gallop thing that you can mess around with if you want. Um, okay, and we'll do part four here in a second, we'll be done for today.